you'll want to plot, um, do plots in MATLAB, and to do that, you just make a vector of x values and a vector of y values and plot them. Okay, so in this example, I make a ve vector of x values from 0 to 10, and this thing in the middle, using the repetition operator again, is the increment. So this x is 0 to 10, incrementing by 0.1. So it goes 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc., up to 10. Um, then I say y equals sine of x, and that uh, the the special functions like trig functions um, always do element by element math. So y equals sine of x takes each element in x, takes the sine of it, and returns a new vector. So now I have a vector y, which is the sine of each element in x. And then if I do plot x comma y, I get out my plot of sine of x. If I want to put markers in, that will use a line that will draw a curve. If I want to put little markers where all the data points are, I can do uh, like this last command, plot x, y will give me the line. And then if I do it again, x comma y comma and then an O in square in um, single quotes, that won't put a line. That'll just put a little O for each data point. And so that last command gives me a curve and the circles for where the data is. There are a ton of special functions built into MATLAB. EXP is the exponential. Log is the natural log. Log 10 is base 10. Um, SQRT is square root. I have all the trig functions. And then there's things like max, min, mean, median. These are, are vector operators. So max of a, of a vector gives me the maximum element in that vector. Mean gives me the mean of all the elements in the vector median obviously sum adds up all the elements in a vector I can sort them etc there's also a bunch of um, special functions like Bessel functions and gamma functions and all that kind of stuff you name it it's probably already defined in MATLAB now we'll want to write loops sometimes so there is quite a bit of flow control available in, in MATLAB for example if then else statements and the syntax is obvious. Um, I can write for loops, uh, sort of like do loops in the old Fortran. For i equals 1 to 10, z equals z times i. So i will be set to 1. Then everything is is um, carried out until I get to the end. Then i is increased to 2 and it's all carried out. Then 3, then 4, and it keeps going until i equals 10. Runs through all the commands and then proceeds. Uh, we'll also want to write our own functions, so create user-defined functions. So suppose we want to plot 3x plus sine of sine of 3x plus sine of 3.1x. This will give me beats, um, if you're familiar with the term. It'd be nice to create a function that, f given a value of x, returns that entire quantity, and then we can just plot it the same way we did on the previous slide. To do that, you create a new m file. Uh, and in it, you just type function, in this case, r equals f of x, and then r equals whatever you want it to be, okay? So um, the f here uh, is how you'll call the function. So in the script where you call this, it'll ty you'll type f of whatever, and it'll return, it'll send whatever to this function, evaluate it, and send, return the value, okay? So the f is how you call it, it's also how you name the file. So it, MATLAB will expect to see this in a file called f.m. So you save it as f.m and you call it as f of x. The r here is the variable that will be returned when we go back to the function. So it'll be what's sent back to the calling program. So if we type r, function r equals f of x, there needs to be a variable inside the script that's named r. And whatever r is, uh, when the script is done, that's what gets returned back to the calling routine. Okay, so to call this, we just, for example, can create a vector x from 0 to 50 incrementing by 0.1. y equals f of x. For each element in x, it sends that element to the function we just wrote, returns the value, and then sticks it into y, and then we can plot it. So that's basically how MATLAB works. There's a second movie um, that demonstrates this uh, within MATLAB. You might want to take a look at that, and then you'll be ready to do the first homework. Good luck.